humans are obsessed with racing. We've raced chariots, we've raced animals, we've raced $20 million machines around in turns at 200 miles per hour. But somehow, somewhere, someone said, you know what's missing? Sperm. Because in a world where we've raced everything else, somehow the next frontier is microscopic and still involves bragging rights. On April 25th at Los Angeles's legendary Hollywood Palladium, thousands are tuning in and placing crypto bets to watch students from USC and UCLA compete in the microscopic arena of sperm motility. At the helm of this genuinely bizarre but surprisingly compelling venture are teenage entrepreneurs who've already secured $1.5 million from serious venture capitalists. Their goal isn't just viral fame, it's actually about shining a light on an alarmingly ignored health crisis. This race is about awareness through spectacle. Male fertility has nosedived. Sperm counts globally have plunged over 50% in the past five decades, with roughly 7% of men facing infertility issues. Competitors have one hour to ready their racers. Then they hand them off to scientists who place the tiny swimmers onto a high-tech microfluidic racetrack that replicates the female reproductive system, complete with fluid dynamics and chemical signals. It's like Honey, I Shrunk the Grand Prix, but with significantly more social impact. Absurd? Yeah. Important? Surprisingly, yes. So while the headlines are busy shouting about crypto bets and college rivalries, the real story is quieter and far more serious. An entire generation facing declining fertility normalized to a spectacle that feels both like a punchline and a public health seminar. And let's face it, at least this sport won't end with two tiny swimmers arguing, it was my corner, or he pushed me off for the next three weeks on Twitter. Just an incident. 